Okay, so today we're going to be making a um, tunnel vision effect with some motion blur and warping effects. So you can see warping effect here and here and up here. And you can see the motion blur in the cars here. So here, let me, yeah, okay, so, so this is one. Uh, it's going to be really slow to render because of the motion blur. So I'm not going to play it, but you can still see the effects here, so. And here's another example. You can add an RGB um, split. So I'm only going to show you the um, the normal one today, and then you can apply the RGB split with my other tutorial, my first tutorial. So you can go check that out. And there's a free preset you can download. And uh, all right, so let's get started. So I'm going to drag my footage into a new composition. Now you just have the normal, normal footage, and the first step is to go over to um, effects and presets and choose optics, and it's optics compensation, and you drag that onto your footage. And the first thing you want to do is choose reverse lens distortion, and drag this up until how much tunnel vision you want so I'm gonna do like something like that that's fine and uh, yeah so next for this one you want to go to pixel pixel motion blur right here and you want to drag that onto your comp and now you have a uh, pixel motion blur but for it to work, you have to drag it on top of optics compensation. And now you can drag the slider and increase it however you'd like. Um, but you have to be careful because the more you drag this up, the slower your render would be or will be. So you don't want to drag it up too much. But something like this is fine with maybe seven on the samples. Maybe 12 is fine, I guess. And so, you can see the difference there. And there you go, there's the um, tunnel vision effect in After Effects. Keep in mind, you can add an RGB split. It's super simple, It's you basically just do, actually, there's one thing you have to do, and if you wanna do the RGB split, you ha instead of having the pixel motion blur on the the layer you have to add an adjustment layer and put the pixel motion blur on the adjustment layer and then it'll it'll affect them all so yeah cuz if you if you put the pixel motion blur on your layer it will not it won't work you won't see the effect of the motion blur so you want to keep it on an adjustment layer so yeah thanks for watching subscribe and check out my other tutorials uh, and see you later.